So market watchers, of course, are waiting to see what's going to happen when that opening bell sounds here in less than 10 minutes to see if we can continue the gains from yesterday. But it does look like we are indicated at least that way. Yesterday, the Nasdaq Composite crossed that 8,000 mark for the first time, gaining just shy of a percent to get there. And frankly, you know that it's the Fang names that drove us there both yesterday and so far year to date. And also President Trump calling out the record at the Nasdaq on Twitter, marking that 8,000 mark, and also pointing to one of those fang names in particular, Alphabet Google. But in not so happy a light, President Trump tweeting at least in part, Google search results for Trump news shows only the viewing reporting of fake new media. Shares of Google are at least under a bit of pressure this morning so far. We'll see what happens when that opening bell sounds if things turn around. Pre-market, though, we should note that Xilinx, that specialty chip maker that is poised to lead the NASDAQ 100, it got an upgrade to outperform from neutral at RW Baird, saying that they like the recent uh, contract wins that that specialty trip, chip maker has been able to score. But then on the flip side of the corn, coin, Bank of America Merrill Lynch actually downgrading to neutral both applied materials and LAM research in the chip equipment maker space. So we're going to want to watch that Philly Semiconductor Index and some of those other ETFs that track the chip makers. They've had a pretty good week. The Philly conduct, Semiconductor Index up about 3.5%. We'll see if that can continue with the push-pull of the upgrade downgrades in that sector today. Back over to you guys.